Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. We are getting ready to read God's word, the short word for today's audio daily devotion by Jefferson Otambara Ingbi. You can visit our website at www.theshoreword.org.uk for more resources. If you want to send in your prayer requests, Feel free as you take the time to fill out the prayer request form on our home page. Your mind is a mighty force that can enslave or empower you. Your mind can plunge you into the depths of mystery or take you to the heights of ecstasy. To succeed and be above all your challenges in life, you must learn to use the power of your mind wisely, otherwise you are doomed. Today, you must unleash the power of your potential. Nobody will unleash it for you. You have waited this long to now know that you are on your own. When you start thinking and saying what you really want, your mind automatically shifts and pulls you in that direction. And sometimes, it can be that simple, just a little twist in vocabulary that illustrates your attitude and philosophy. Never forget the power of your words. A simple change in your vocabulary can have a powerful effect on what you signal to your mind. Choose to never speak badly of yourself by saying things like, I am fat, I am dumb, I am stupid, or I am a failure. Because your mind is always listening. And if told something enough times, it will begin to listen. Program your mind for success by speaking success in your future. Talk, write and affirm what you are trying to achieve regularly. Your mind is always eavesdropping on your self-talk. Choose carefully. The mind is everything. What you think, you become. What you think matters. The foundation of the sure word for today is Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Quote, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord." The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. This week's title for the sure word for today's series is Understanding Jesus' Mindset, Part 3 of 7. The affirmation for this week's sure word for today, I have the mind of Christ. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of Philippians chapter 2 verses 2 to 5. Here is the Bible verse quote. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus." There is nothing too hard for God to do in our lives. He is limitless in power and ability. Things that look impossible to us are nothing before Him. There is no sickness too significant and no problem too overwhelming that God cannot overcome. He is the mighty God and His power is able. The power of God can turn situations around. Join me as I read the short word for today. You can visit our own page and subscribe for the written devotion and it will be delivered every day in your mailbox. 
The word mind is an attitude, but it is not only the word for attitude. When Paul mentioned these words, he chose the verb form and not the noun. It means Paul was not saying that the mind of Christ is a mere concept, but he implies it is an action. Living out the mind of Christ is not just something known and understood. It is acted upon, lived out and demonstrated. Having this knowledge opens your understanding that Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 teaches us to actively live out the mind of Christ. You could interpret this verse this way, quote, Have this attitude that was also in Christ Jesus, unquote, or, quote, You should mind this as Christ Jesus minded it, unquote. The mind of Christ is an action. If you claim to have the mind of Christ, but do not demonstrate a life that reflects this attitude in action, you are not to be believed when you say you have the mind of Christ. This truth is echoed throughout the New Testament. The book of James says, quote, But do you want to know, O foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Unquote. Reference James chapter 2 verse 20. This means that works have never saved a person's soul, but salvation will produce a change in a person's life. Revelation chapter 2 verses 2 to 4 talks about a group of believers who knew many facts, figures, and doctrines about Christianity, but did not live out their beliefs in action. Quote, I know thy works, but you left your first love. Unquote. Even in the days of Jesus, Jewish people will not be quick to assure you of your salvation, your sincere belief in Jesus Christ, if you did not back up your words with action. It is indeed evident that the mind of Christ is not simply a creed, theory, or formula. The mind of Christ is an action. Action speaks louder than word. We have reached the end of part 3 of the Show Word Audio Devotion series titled understanding Jesus' mindset. We are getting ready to read God's words, the short word capsule by Jefferson Otombara Ingbi. I would like you to read this at least once, twice or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. If you start with me and repeat every word that I read, you will be blessed. Do not leave gaps in this recording. I will join you to repeat the short word capsule. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am my superhero. I am my superhero. I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. Because I have not tried all possible ways. I am adventurous. I am adventurous. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to anyone. I will not compare myself to anyone. I am a loving person. I am a loving person. I am purposeful. I am purposeful. I am created with divine intention. I am created with divine intention. I feed my spirit. I feed my spirit. I train my body. I train my body. I focus my mind. I focus my mind. It is my time to excel. It is my time to excel. I am in charge of how I feel. I am in charge of how I feel. And today, I am choosing happiness, and today I am choosing happiness. I have the power to create change. I have the power to create change. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I deserve the best. I deserve the best, and I accept the best now. And I accept the best now. I get things done fast. I get things done fast. I never put things off. I never put things off. I am a doer. I am a doer. I act quickly. I act quickly. I am motivated to finish my tax. I am motivated to finish my tax. I have the willpower to do my assignments. 
I have the willpower to do my assignments. I am a proactive person. I am a proactive person. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I cast unto God, I cast unto God, every anxiety and depression, every anxiety and depression. I am feeling right now, I am feeling right now. And the Lord has embraced, and the Lord has embraced, extinguished, extinguished and crushed the anxiety and depression, and crushed the anxiety and depression. I am like a tree planted, I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water, by the rivers of water. I bring forth fruit, I bring forth fruit in my season, in my season. My leaf shall not wither, my leaf shall not wither. And whatsoever I do will prosper, and whatsoever I do will prosper. The grace of God, the grace of God makes my mistakes prosper, makes my mistakes prosper. I walk in the light of the word of God. I walk in the light of the word of God and live by the word of faith and live by the word of faith. I declare that today, I declare that today, this city and country I live in, this city and country I live in, we yield its fruit for me, we yield its fruit for me, and I shall eat my fill, and I shall eat my fill, and dwell in this city and country in safety, and dwell in this city and country in safety. I am not sick. I am not sick. My Lord has healed me of all kinds of disease. My Lord has healed me from all kinds of disease. God has not given me a spirit of fear. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. I overcome every fear with the blood of Jesus. I overcome every fear with the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare that I have a sound mind. I decree and declare that I have a sound mind. By faith, by faith, we believe that those things we pray, we believe that those things we pray, we receive, we receive, and we have them, and we have them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have reached the end of the Sure Word Audio Devotion and the Declaration of the Sure Word Capsule. Please visit www.thesureword.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs. You can also put a request for a capsule to be created for any challenge you are having. Thank you for listening and confessing along. Please, don't forget to share this audio devotion. I would also love it if you can subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get the notification anytime we post a new audio devotion. Have a gorgeous day and may God continue to bless you, enlarge your coast and increase your substance. Amen.